Yes, my people. All praises. Give thanks. All praises unto the highest king. Tonight I hear by the mercy of the power invested in me by the most high God who give me health and strength. Today is the 85th day and uh, I got this I got my test buttons stick right here, the stuff right here. It's real short. But what I wanna do with it is um I'm gonna use it just to free my body. I'm gonna stab with it there my neck. It's gonna be a little longer, but I ain't got a long piece. So I'm gonna keep this piece right here. That's kind of straight. Guys, as you come and smash the like button when you see this video. In this video, the importance of this video is to allow you to be flexible. So you could you can get a piece of stick longer than that one. You could use it if you have one as short as this one, you can use it also. The key thing is to stand up straight and allow your body to twist from side to side with that stick right here. And as you do this, keep your body right. Ah, you will feel it. One. If you will feel it instantly, I was very stiff. I want to take it right here, and you will do from what I just show you within five to ten sets a day. Right here, right here, and low back. Same thing. Just hug it. Simple little workouts, the stick or the star, again, you can use it for a squat, so you want to put it in front of you, hold it like this, anyway, you want to squat with it, give you a better squat, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got something in my pocket. Beautiful. With, 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 with the staff, all the stick. Just hold that in front of you and allow you to go down into the bucket with your hands in front of you. As you go down, you raise your hand up, and you go down in the pocket. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Work the start. Hold it, and it will give you that balance and allow you to squat properly. Uh, so, friends, we find another one today. We want to get it here too. This one is short, but if it was longer, what we want to do is we don't want to go down from side to side, but that stick is short, okay? We need something a little longer. But at the meantime, let's be creative. Take it here and bend the hand. Oh. Let's do it the other way. 
take it here and go up with it. One. All right? So what we want to do here, we want to go all the way up, rip the cups in the shoulder, rip the entire arm, the rotation. We want to hold it here and go all the way up with it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. The straighter you go on that, the more you push your hand backwards, you'll fill it in the shoulder cup. You'll fill it in the whole rotation. All like this. And just take it all the way up. 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 Excellent. This is a good one. You feel it in the shoulders. Excellent. Now we want to, uh, since the stick is that short, we want to do more with it, but it's too short. But what we would do is, uh, we want to open our legs, okay? If we had the longer version of the stick, that would be like this. We're gonna put it at the back, put our hands on top. Then we're gonna go side to side with it. So we're gonna work the, waist, the waistline and the upper body. By twisting that body, you're trying to get that whole flexibility. And since we don't have that stick, we could still do it differently. Why go like this? All right. I'm gonna put one hand up. Look up. When you put this hand up, see that hand goes up. Look up. Power with it. Keep the legs straight. All right. Do the same thing with this one. That means when you turn your head, you just have to see the tip of your fingers up there. Okay? So the reason why you get that loose. Okay? Now you're gonna take this hand from here. You're gonna take that by the twist. You see? Keep it there. Twist. Don't come up. Alright? Here, the same thing, twist. Don't come up. Ah. Uh, don't come up. Don't come up. Look up. Don't come 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 up. So you keep that leg straight, you're working out the hamstrings, lower back, man, it's beautiful. Free this whole waistline here. Now, we want to sit up in a, a straight position. Tonight workout contains freeing your body, finding the right movements, stretching, your body making it loose. So now what I want from you guys is one, two, all right? All right? All right? All right? So you're working the inner leg with that, when you raise that leg up and you rotate that whole leg, um, that whole tie, Actually, the whole leg, but you want to rotate it on the outside. So your thing is, is like this. See how I twist your left foot? Yeah. Knocking something out of the way. Yeah. So you're working that whole thing here. See? Yeah. Yeah. 
See? Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. See? yeah. Easy to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All that you're working at, entire inner leg. And even the abs too. The whole thing here, see? See? Yeah. This is a beautiful workout for the inner leg. Working the whole torso. Excellent. Let's do some nails. I hope you like the uh, work that I brought out last night with all 10 different styles of various styles of push-ups, pipe push-ups, diamonds push-ups, or typewriter push-ups. I was to do the arch. But anyway, uh, what I have for you tonight. Tonight, I'm like, I'm just coming in from hustling. Health is well. I'm doing the life in a bar. Just coming in. And, uh, Sometimes it's rough like that. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm only one individual. Anyway, um, let's see what we can do here. I'm thinking what to do. Okay, so. Squeeze the back when you come in. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eight. Nine. Now you may say, oh, that's easy. But if you do it the right way, you're going to notice you get pain. You feel the pain, and that's a good pain. Because what it is, as I go up, when I come down, I'm already squeezing my back this way. When I goes up, I'm pushing all the way straight up. Kevin the mold is breaking. Bring it back down the same direction. Squeezing it back again. Pushing back up there again. Bring it back down again. Yeah. So, that's it. The same thing is burning. It's not the same. Simple but effective. Today I'm coming, I'm tired. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not Superman. You know, we got our good days and bad days. You know, just coming in. But this workout right here is a single workout but effective. And what I just see, I'm sitting here, and the key thing is to allow my feet to allow my feet to stretch. Flower. Just find a chair and just sit on it. That's right. Just work this part bottom on your legs here. You just want your leg to move forward, front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
and ten more. So you say, well, where, where's the resistance? <laughs> where's the resistance? Ability is the resistance. The ability for you to sit right on this chair. Put your hand here. And allow your hand to move. The chair number one is kind of a little short, but it still gives the weight up. Because because it's short, I have the ability to just rest my hand right here and rotate that foot back and forth like this straight. When my legs is like this, I pull back my tie, contract my tie so you can see everything is working tight. And then I allow that leg to come back right here and push it back up. One, two, three, four. So as you notice, I'm pushing down off on the chair, but allowing my legs, I'm sitting on my gloves, and allowing, see, there's a little space below my leg, so actually my leg is not connected to the chair, right here, my tie is not connected to the chair. I'm sitting on my brooks, and I can push my hands, see, right under my lap. So what I do now is when I put my hand here, that's just the support right here, not for my leg, for my upper body, just to move, because I'm doing a cut. I'm tapping in my gut too. So to move my legs forward, I gotta contract my gut, my abs, and it goes like this. See, every time I go, I go like this. So this way, this is hard, and this one I do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, feel that I don't need no weight, but I feel this, and it works. So this is a workout you can do, and if you fit a 10, 20, or 32 of a lesser challenge to you, you take it higher, but if you do it appropriately the way I tell you, then that's when you're gonna feel the effectiveness of it. If you're cutting, going around it, not doing it right, and you're doing something like this, Mm -hmm. That's not what I ask. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong thing. I ask to sit on a chair if you have one like this. Or maybe yours might be a little taller, whatever the case may be. But when you sit there, you're supposed to have that space. Right here, see? I don't have to raise my legs, see? This here. And since I'm using this space now to mount myself here. So this is this is like extra support to push them on just to keep this strong. Just to leave this in this position to move just the bottom, just this, your leg, not your top, just your leg. To stay here, keep this right here, and just move, just this, like this. And every time you push your leg, your leg doesn't move, it has to stay in the same place. So it's this is not leaning no way to say well you're gonna support your leg like this. This is leaning. So you can do a lot of that. This is always up here. So the only thing I'm doing here, I'm sitting on my glutes, pressing on this, and I'm having a whole bottom leg movement without this guy raising up. So the only time you see this guy is when the leg of him becomes one like straight, but after that, the kneecaps bend and the, the, the bottom part goes down. All right, guys. So that's another one. Like I said, guys, you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm kind of a little tired and I'm one person. I went out doing my thing, pushing this cart, 
it's winter, but I still do little runs with it. And um, I'm tired. So once again, yo, I appreciate y'all guys. I've been giving y'all a whole lot. It's not every day I was able to give y'all a whole lot and give y'all what I can. I gotta say so. And the best never done. Now, I don't know, there's always more creation within me. It's just like sometimes I gotta know when to just chill to a little bit. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to go to the uh, gym. I'm not been there for about two, three weeks. Been doing everything in my house. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of afraid of the gym right now mm -hmm. with all the ha 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 and that. You know what's going on. But I'll try to reach over there tomorrow. And uh, I appreciate y'all guys, man. Thank y'all for everything. And God bless y'all, man. May the most I keep this light shining upon y'all, protecting y'all, guiding y'all, and y'all going out and y'all coming. For they do have pestilence that fall by day and pestilence that fall by night. Peace.